All Bronx bound trains are experiencing delays. Thank you for your patience. Bingo. My boy's going to kill me. I'll never make it to work by 8.30. You're late. But boss, I left early for work. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, look what you've done. Are you okay? Janitor! Yo, clean us up right now. I'll be in my office. I thought I said clean this up. You're fired. <gasps> what are y'all looking at? Anybody else want to get fired? Ah, that's what I thought. Now get back to work. I'm sorry for this happening. I feel responsible. No, it's not you. He's a bad boss. No one likes him. He's always drunk. Maybe I can help you get your job back. I have an idea. Mike, your employees claim you're not following your duties as manager of the office. Is this true? Me not following my duties? He's the one not doing his job right. I called the janitor to mop up a spell, but he didn't put up the sign up and I slept! Which shows incompetence and gross negligence on his part, so I fired him. But I have proof that I did put up the sign and he fell because of his own drinking problem. I can't believe what I am seeing here. This is completely unacceptable, Mike. I have no choice but to fire you today. I hope you get the help you need to deal with your addiction. Yo, my fault. I'm gonna try to get better. And Nick, as far as you go, I am impressed by your professionalism and want to let you know that you are not fired. In fact, I would like to promote you the manager of the entire office. Do you accept? Yes, absolutely. And the first thing I would like to do as acting boss is give Brian his job back and all her I apologize for the reckless behavior of Mike, my husband. I tried contacting rehab centers on his drinking problem, and today is when they called back. I guess it's all the behavior he has learned from his parents at a young age. Again, I sincerely apologize. From my, me, myself, Jasmine. After that meeting, Mike went into a depressive state, overdrank, and got into a car accident. In the hospital, the doctor informed him that the car accident was actually a saving grace. Mike's liver was about to fail. From there, Mike went to rehab, got better, and even went on to get a job as a drug counselor. Nick grew into his new role as manager, developed positive relationships with his employees, and was a good boss. He finally got a car and no longer has to take the train to work. Brian lives out his days as a janitor under his new boss, Nick. He's provided with better cleaning supplies and even upgrades to a Swiffer. Brian enjoys his raise and lives a chill, better life. Still doing his thing. <laughs>